Welcome back to our channel, Tech Innovation. Today we are diving deep, quite literally, into the fascinating world of underwater technology. We'll be discussing the much-talked-about Titan submersible and the effectiveness of carbon fiber in deep-sea submersibles. So grab your diving gear and let's get started. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you for joining us. As you may know, the Titan submersible was designed to revolutionize deep-sea tourism. However, recently it imploded while attempting to tour the wreckage of the Titanic, tragically killing all five on board. Join us as we explore the technology of the Titan sub and its use of carbon fiber that made Titan unique, and if this might be the possible reason behind its catastrophic failure. Let's dive in. At extreme depths, even the strongest material may succumb to the overwhelming water pressure. A flaw or vulnerability in the submersible's hull could have compromised its integrity, leading to a catastrophic failure. When it comes to constructing deep-sea submersibles, the choice of materials is crucial for ensuring their safety and performance. One material that has gained attention in recent years is carbon fiber composites. These composites are known for their high strength and low weight, making them a popular choice for applications in aerospace and automotive industries. However, their use in deep-sea submersibles has raised questions about their ability to withstand the extreme pressures encountered in the depths of the ocean. In this video, we will explore the effectiveness of carbon fiber in these underwater vessels and discuss the challenges associated with its use. Carbon fiber composites are made up of carbon fibers embedded in a matrix material, such as epoxy resin. These composites offer a unique combination of properties, including high strength, low weight, and corrosion resistance. These qualities make them ideal for applications where weight reduction is critical, such as in aircraft construction. The use of carbon fiber in deep sea submersibles is driven by the desire to achieve similar weight savings while maintaining structural integrity. One of the primary concerns with using carbon fiber composites in deep sea submersibles is their ability to withstand external pressure. While carbon fibers are exceptionally strong under tension, they are not as resilient under compression. As submersibles descend into the depths of the ocean, the pressure exerted by the weight of the water increases significantly. This puts immense strain on the carbon fiber hull, making it susceptible to delamination and catastrophic failure. To understand the limitations of carbon fiber in deep sea submersibles, it is essential to examine the design of pressure vessels used in such applications. Pressure vessels are typically constructed with the carbon fiber wound around the perimeter of the vessel. This design allows the vessel to withstand high internal pressure as carbon fibers are strong under tension. However, it does not provide the same level of protection against external forces. The inability of carbon fiber holes to withstand compression can lead to structural failure when subjected to extreme deep sea pressures. Another challenge associated with carbon fiber composites is fatigue. Fatigue occurs when a material weakens under repeated stress cycles, eventually leading to failure. In the case of carbon fiber composites, repeated exposure to high pressure environments can cause the layers of fibers to separate from each other, a process known as delamination. Delamination weakens the structure of the composite and further exacerbates the risk of catastrophic failure. To mitigate the risks associated with carbon fiber and deep sea submersibles, continuous monitoring of the hull is crucial. Detecting early signs of damage is essential for preventing catastrophic failures. Electrical measurement-based monitoring has shown promise in detecting the initial stages of fatigue and delamination in carbon fiber composites. This monitoring technique allows for proactive maintenance and repair, minimizing the risk of structural failure. While carbon fiber composites have shown their limitations in deep sea applications, researchers and engineers continue to explore ways to improve their performance. Ongoing investigations and studies aim to gain a better understanding of the behavior of carbon fiber under deep sea pressures. Additionally, alternative materials and design approaches are being considered to enhance the safety and reliability of deep sea submersibles. The use of carbon fiber composites in deep sea submersibles presents both opportunities and challenges. While carbon fiber offers high strength and low weight, its limitations under compression and in high pressure environments raise concerns about its sustainability for deep sea applications. Ongoing research and monitoring techniques are essential for improving the safety and performance of carbon fiber hulls. As technology advances, Alternative materials and design strategies may emerge to address the unique challenges of deep sea exploration. 
Ultimately, the effectiveness of carbon fiber in deep sea submersibles depends on a comprehensive understanding of its properties and careful consideration of the forces it will encounter in the depths of the ocean. Human error, either during the design phase or in the operation of the submersible, cannot be ruled out. Mistakes made during construction, calibration, or even during the pilot's execution of the mission plan could have played a significant role in the submersible's failure. That's all for today's deep dive into the Titan Submersible's technology and potential reasons for its failure. We hope you found this exploration informative. Remember to stay tuned for more exciting tech updates. Thank you for joining us on this underwater adventure. Do you think the use of carbon fiber led to the catastrophic failure of the Titan? Or do you think it was something else entirely? Do let us know in the comments. And don't forget to like, share, and subscribe if you want to see more videos like this. Until next time, keep exploring and pushing the boundaries of technology. Take care, everyone.